Hey guys, welcome to the Let's Play world. I've done work on the bank. So you can see that I put some lights up there to keep mobs from spawning right there as they always do. Put some fence gates here to keep mobs from walking in. And I have vastly expanded the storage and used the signs. So right here we have the initial ingots chests. We have some crafting benches complemented by anvils on either side, furnaces. On this first road here we have bulk materials, so smooth stone, cobblestone, gravel. Back here we have transportation, wooden fences, ladders and signs, and miscellaneous, which is beds, crafting benches, that sort of stuff. Uh, this is the food section. The top and bottom chests haven't been designated for anything, but we have meat, um, bread and apples, sugar cane, melons. The top and bottom chests will likely go to potatoes and carrots or something. Here we have redstone, so three sets of redstone chests, torches, repeaters, and output and input blocks, which is what the piston represents. Here are the planting stuff. I went and I found some clay to make some clay pots to put on these signs. Um, went and got some lily pads from some swamp biomes. This is like the little fern chest. This chest is for mushroom type stuff, cactuses, dirt. Uh, this one, ice, grass, glass, glass pane, rebar, and vines, all the sand related stuff. Here, this is where all the um, rare blocks are going to go, so mossy cobble, cracked stone, mossy stone, uh, creeper blocks, whatever we happen to find. This one is the nether chest, so uh, nether portal, or nether portal, nether brick, nether brick stair, nether brick fence, glowstone, obsidian, pumpkins, and over here the bulk chest for the nether, which consists of nether rack, um, soul sand, and back here, oak wood, spruce wood, uh, what is this called? Birch wood, jungle wood, stone brick stuff, other stone stuff. So this is basically all of the blocks, and then I've retrofitted the upstairs. So here we have cobble that didn't fit downstairs. Likewise, we have dirt over here. Here we have potion type stuff, tools. Oh yeah, you can see some of the tools I've thrown in these chests from enchanting. I just have enchanted worthless tools just thrown randomly in chests. Uh, crafting related things. This one over here isn't labeled, but it's the coal chests. Let's see, I could have swore I'd put some. No, I must have taken them out. And also, uh, I didn't say it, but you probably noticed it. I moved the nether portal. So the nether portal is actually in the center of the bank. Also, the nether portal has a couple of chests above it. Don't have any uses for them yet, but within due time, I am sure. So I've done some work here in the nether portal area. I went ahead and bumped this wall out a couple of blocks to make it more roomy, give room some more chests and such in the future. And uh, nothing really done up and over this way. Gassed, I don't have a bow, I'm going back down. And, oh, I missed a block. Gosh dang it, I have to fix that, okay. So I'll just throw this creeper dust I got away. There we go, and I shall pop through. Excellent. And I did some work in here as well. I took this wall and I bumped it over by a block so that way I can put a decent wall on this here which would be which will be nice for the future um, let's see here what else have I done 
yeah, that's about it. And I do have to say that you being able to use these nether portals to get from one place to the other is probably the best improvement that this world has had in quite some time because it just makes traveling up and down a lot easier and I'm a lot more likely to get resources now whereas before I try to not come up as much as possible whereas now it's really no big deal just you know 30 seconds and I'm already inside the bank where all of my goodness is so all in all really glad I took the time to throw this together now we talked about this last episode and we will be doing it and that is setting up a whoopsies getting an obsidian generator set up so let's see now the problem with an obsidian generator is you have to use either string or redstone and I don't have a plentiful supply of either of those things hmm. um I think I'm gonna have to make like a what is it called a spider farm but that will be in due time as well as everything else here so actually, I actually think I'm going to hold off on this for a little while because now that I think about it I don't really have the need or the resources to be making an obsidian generator it's kind of funny, I just went and grabbed all the resources, and then I was like, yeah, on second thought, no. So, let's just pop down and, I don't know, let's just free will this episode. Let's check out what needs to be done. Um, I, there's a huge nether fortress here, which is something that I would like to build a safe path to in the near future for hunting wither skulls which would be quite nice let's see it has to be I'm sure there's something some work to be done today huh what can I do never uh, never had an issue of not having something to do before I have lots of projects I can work on I want to build a pumpkin pie machine. I want to build melon and pumpkin farms down here. Uh, eventually my goal is to have all the farms down here in the bottom and then I will destroy all the farms up there that look kind of ugly and intrusive and then I will turn that into more or less a building area do some creative stuff oh also this floor has been turned to half slabs to keep zombie pigmen from spawning in here I had a lot of issues with zombie pigmen wandering into the great bank so what I think I'm going to do today is I have my sheep farm and I have my other farm who uh, I have my sheep farm and I have my cow farm down there which means that the um, the sheep and cow farm up there have kind of uh, up here have kind of more or less outlived their usefulness shall I say well where, where did my looting sword go I know I I must have left it back at the enchanting place. That's a shame. Oh well. I suppose this will have to do. That's right, we're going to kill them all. Oh, I need a wooden axe. And I need silk touch. 
And I keep, I keep going to do things, and then I stop going to do what I'm going to do. I do really apologize for the scatterbrained episode. I had a plan, and then I just kind of realized that the plan was poorly thought out, because I really don't have the string to be making an obsidian generator, nor, like I said, the need to make an obsidian generator, so I was all gung-ho I was going to make one of those this episode. But in reality, it's it's not time. We must must be patient to get our obsidian generator. So instead we're just going to massacre a bunch of animals that we have raised up and have grown to love us and trust us. Which is uh, no monstrosity by any feat. So let's go. Do 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 do. It's a beautiful day to be a cow in this world. What a beautiful day to be a cow in this world. Oh yes. Oh indeed. What a beautiful day to be a cow in this world. Don't you just want to dance and sing and be a cow in this world? Oh I know I do. So how about you? This is like the cow accost. The silence of the cows. How terrible. Clearly a terrible person doing terrible things, but look at all the steak we've gotten. Their lives were not for naught, for their substance shall carry us on for many ages, and we shall remember these cows and the great justice they have done for our village, so that we may live on and thrive whilst for the favor of these cows it is not so. However, without these cows, we would not be able to be the fruitful community we are today. So thank you, cows, for your sacrifice and understanding the world order of things. It's not that we don't love you. It's just that we're urbanizing and we can't have farmland here anymore. All the farmland has to be underground, where clearly it is sanitary and not cruel to the animals. Okay, now time to take down the pen and it will be like this never existed. Ooh, I took out some dirt. Nope, dang it. Ah, uh, all of the all the glorious steak meals I'll be able to get out of this. It's quite a quite a good trade-off. I'm quite happy for what's happened here today. And I'll just go ahead and take down this fence. Well, the cows are gone, but we have one more. I can't believe this ground's still here. Die, die. Okay, there we go. We have one more victim to come after. Why, hello, my little lamb. Silence. It's time to silence all of the lambs, for this is the silence of the lambs. <laughs> Yes, hear the bleats for mercy. Do do do, and death, 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 death. Oh my goodness! So far from killing animals, I've gained like six levels. That's terrible. I'm a terrible person. But this is the circle of life. The sheep's time has ended, and it is time that they return to the soil from which they grew, because all the little sheep seeds must go away sometime. They'll re-sprout in the spring, though. It's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yes. Well, I suppose all that is left is for me to tear down this sad and neglected pin, just as the uh, cow, the cow pin was torn down in its time. Well, uh, I think I'm going to call this an episode, guys. I was going to build the obsidian generator, but sorry that um, the realization of lack of resources hit me.
Just lost a glowstone. That's a shame. That wasn't supposed to happen at all. Oh well. I'll see you guys next time. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And this is me, and I'm saying toodles.